नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वील यूज मल्टी क्लास क्लासिफिकेशन इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व द एम नेस डिजिट क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम इन द लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज वी सॉल्व अ बाइनरी क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम इन ऑर्डर टू डिटेक्ट द डिजिट जीरो फ्रॉम द अदर डिजिट्स सो हियर वी सॉल्व द एक्चुअल एम नेस डिजिट रिकोगशन प्रॉब्लम वेर वी विल ट्रेन a multi class classifier that recognizes one digit from another so first we use the sgd classifier for multi class classification so we train sgd classifier without regularization here we set alpha to 0 we use the cross entropy loss and the learning rate is constant and it is set to 0.01 we have two stages in the pipeline first is the scaling followed by the hdd classifier let's train the hdd classifier for 100 iterations it took almost 5 minutes for training and uh, we have plotted the learning curve so you can see that this learning curve is uh, like an ideal classifier with every iteration the loss is coming down so here we did not do anything special to accommodate the multi class setting so what is happening actually behind the scene is that the library automatically created 10 different binary classifiers and trained them and during the inference the input will be passed through all the 10 classifiers and the highest score among the output will be considered as the predicted class since we are using pipeline the hdd classifier is the is the second stage in the pipeline and it can be accessed as pipe_hdd_ovr which is the pipeline object and the index 1 of it will be the hdd classifier we can look at the shape of the weight matrix of this multi class hdd classifier and you can we find that the shape is 10 by 784 so each row in this matrix which is of the size 10 by 784 represent the weights of a single binary classifier we obtain the prediction on test set with the train classifier and here we have uh, we have printed the predictions for first five examples and you can see that we get a single prediction for each example in the test set which is an image next we obtain a confusion matrix based on the prediction on the test set and you can see that in this confusion matrix there is some confusion between label 2 and label 8 then label 5 and label 8 label 5 and label 3 so there are some of these confusions that you can see from the confusion matrix there is also a confusion between label 9 and label 4 and let's obtain a classification report for this multi class classifier so you can see the precision recall and f1 number for every class and for most of the classes the numbers are more than 90% precision recall as well as f1 scores except for class 8 which has got f1 score of 0.87 and for class 5 we have 0.87 of f1 score the recall is is lower than the other classes we can also set up a multi class classifier with logistic regression with lbfgs solver and here we have again trained the logistic regression without regularization by setting the value of c to np dot infinity after training the classifier we obtain the predictions on the test set and also plot the confusion matrix observe that there are similar confusions that we uh, discussed in the earlier confusion matrix 
we obtain a classification report on the predictions on the test set and you can see that the precision recall and F1 score are comparable to the classification report that we obtained earlier. Here the numbers for class 8 and class 5 are better than what we obtained with HDD classifier and overall F1 score for most of the classes is higher than what we obtained with HDD classifier. So as an exercise what you can do is you can try to introduce regularization and train this multi-class classifier. Also train this multi-class classifier with cross-validation and perform hyperparameter tuning. So you have to follow exactly the same process that we followed for zero detector and then compare the performance for different classifiers. So here we have visualized weight values for weight vectors W1, W2, W3 all the way up to W9. And you can see that these different weight vectors have learned different set of patterns as is evident from, um, from the weights that are assigned to, to each pixel. In this video, we train a couple of multi-class classification models with SGD classifier and logistic regression classifiers. Now you know how to set up the multi-class classification problems and train them using SGD classifier and logistic regression classifier.